mentioned homered yesterday played outstanding defense on the other side of the scorecard 2-0 to Turner did he do it again into deep center field Kiermaier leaps and that one's gone back to back nights Justin Turner with a first inning two out solo shot and the Dodgers lead one to nothing in game four that by the way is the 12th postseason home run in a dodgy uniform for Justin Turner that is a franchise record as he moves one spot ahead and now all by himself in front of Duke Snyder Corey Seager who lined the second base in his first at bat and Seager with a fly ball to right field it's on its way and it is gone a home run Corey Seager his eighth home run of the postseason the Dodgers' second home run of the game. It is two to nothing in the third. It's only two to nothing LA. Raise it right in this thing. Here is a shot into right center field. This ball is back at the wall. And he's got another. And the all-time record for home runs in a single postseason with number nine. More importantly for the Rays, it's a two to one game. Randy and Rosarena are the first pitch he sees here in the fourth inning. Has just gone apple and the Rays are on the board. It's two to one. Two out. Muncie awaits the pitch from Franklin. Seeger leads from second. That is hit into right of base hit. Seeger is brought around third. Throw by Renfro. Has a great arm, but it's up the line. Safe at second. And now out as Muncie falls off. It's a three to one ball game and Muncie pleading his case. He's delivered a two out RBI, another run scoring with two down, and the two run lead is back as Seeger got to the plate before the out at second. Hunter Renfro leading off in the fifth. Here is the three two and a high fly ball into left. This ball is up and way out of here. It's a three two game as Hunter Renfro gets his first of the World Series. His second postseason homer, he hit the grand slam in the series against the Toronto Blue Jays, and right there he got a pitch that he did not miss. So the Dodgers get a couple of gift walks. Now Kike Hernandez has bounced out twice. Hernandez, base hit into left field, pass the diving Brasso. Rounding third, coming in to score is Smith. Arriving at third base is Pollock. Kike Hernandez delivers a single to left, and the Dodgers take a 4-2 lead helped by two walks here in the sixth inning. Rays trailing four to two in the sixth inning. Rose Arena at second and Choi at first. Infield shifts to the right. Outfield straight away and here's Lau against Baez. Swing and a fly ball left center field towards the gap giving chases Taylor all the way back to the wall. It's gone! A three run homer for Brandon Lau. The Rays have come all the way back and they've got a 5-4 lead. We want to talk about another swing moment in this game. It's oh. right here, folks. It is a huge swing moment. That is off the glove and into right. Two runs are going to score, and now Bellinger trapped in a rundown, tagged out, but Peterson is delivered off the bench. A two out, two run pinch hit on a knock into right, and the Dodgers are back on. Top here in game four. One out here in the seventh inning. Kevin Kiermaier will be the best. There's a swing and a drive to right field and deep. Back to the wall when this one lands. We are high. Kiermaier touches one off into right. Kiermaier, the 31st round pick, grew up in the organization, just crunched one into right. Seeker with a chance to put the Dodgers back on top. That's in the shallow center field. That Scores with two out and two strikes. You gotta be kidding me. 7 6 LA. Seeger on a fluke single to left. His fourth hit of the night. The Dodgers have reclaimed the lead. It's 7 to 6. It's two on with two out. And the Rays are going to ask for the biggest hit in the life of Brett Phillips. That is in the center field. Here comes Kiermaier. Phillips is tied the game. Arena coming around, throw home, now he stumbles, but the ball gets away, Tampa Bay wins it, Brett Phillips, game four, hero. Oh my, they're trying to catch him in the outfield, they can't.
has got to be one of the most unlikely endings to a World Series game in the history of baseball. The Rays have won an 8-7 on a base hit by Phillips and a comedy of errors by the Los Angeles Dodgers. And this World Series is tied at two games apiece. Corey Seager coming up. Seager 7 for 14 in the World Series. Lines one into right field for a base hit. Betts rounding third. He is on his way home and he will score. Ten pitches into the game. The Dodgers take a one to nothing lead. Well, statement made early, but they need to be able to close it out. There's a long way to go in this one. So it's first and second. Now here's Bellinger. Bellinger taking inside and low and it's blocked by Zanino. It tips off the foot of home plate umpire Marvin Hudson. And as a result, Seeger goes to third. There's an early tilting point again for the Dodgers. Runner first goes, the pitch grounded into the shift, backhanded by Lau from his knees. They'll have no play. And the base running of Corey Seager just made it to nothing. Took third on a wild pitch that didn't go far and scores on an infield hit. Jock Peterson leads off in the second inning. Peterson on a one and two pitch, well struck out to deep center field and gone. 28th home run of this postseason for the Dodgers and the second for Jock. Jock Peterson is second home run of the postseason and the Dodgers take a three to nothing lead. One out, one on Diaz, but off the bottom of the first with a base hit. Here's one into right field. That's going to get down. Betts can't get to it. Taken around second and now headed to third is Kiermaier. They're going to bring him to the plate. Diaz all the way to third, and now released to the base, and Diaz is safe. And sliced one down the right field line right there, and Betts with a risky proposition was trying to get to it before it banged off the wall, and instead of angling after it, he went in a straight line after it. Diaz at third with only one out. Randy Arozarena coming up. Swing and a hard ground ball, base hit into left field. There's a hit with runners in scoring position. Diaz scores. Rosarena drives him in, and they got a one-run game. And Rosarena able to stay back and then shoot it through the left side. So the Rays have had a bit of an answer here. So Rosarena with his first hit with a runner in scoring position this postseason. First and third, two away. Here's Kiermaier. Marco breaks for home. The pitch on the way. He's high, and the tag, he is out. There will be no replay. Marco is out at the plate, attempting to steal home plate. And Kershaw, the aide in the dugout, makes the play, barns the tag out, and the inning is over. Now Max Muncy walked and singled. Here's the 3-2. Swing and a drive. He got all of it. Oh, baby! And he knew it off the bat. Santa Maria. The Dodgers take a 4-2 lead. Muncy's third home run of the postseason. Got it all, left nothing behind. He absolutely crushed it. One ball, two strikes. Kiermaier strikes out swinging on a fastball up and in. And Kershaw is now the all-time strikeout leader in postseason play. That was 206. Dustin May went an inning and two-thirds. Kiermaier is his statistical responsibility. As soon as Gonzalez was announced into the game, Kevin Cash decided to pinch hit for the pinch hitter. So now it's going to be Mike Rosso. And he walked out. Here's a Rosarena with the tying runs on him, only one out in the eighth inning. This is the best chance of the night for Tampa Bay. First pitch with a fly ball to center field. Bellinger retreating. He will make the catch. The runner stay put, and there's two out of the Dodgers to breathe a sigh of relief. Rosarena is retired on one pitch. And now the Dodgers get the matchup with Gonzalez against a left-handed hitting Brandon Lau. Lau, a little short fly into center field, and Bellinger comes in with all the speed and makes the catch, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, two left. The Dodgers three outs away from taking a three games to two lead in the World Series. And this game now is up to Willie Adamas. And down he goes, swung on and missed strike three. The Dodgers beat the Rays four to two. They now lead the World Series three games to two. The Dodgers are one win away from winning the World Series. And with one out, nobody on here is Randy Arozarena, the breakout star of October here in 2020. Arozarena sends that one well hit out to right field. Bats back and it's gone. Just like that. 
One nothing Rays, and who else? Randy Arozarena. A first inning homer for Randy Arozarena, number 10 of the postseason. It's one nothing Rays. Arozarena at the plate. Kiermaier at second, Choi at first, one nothing Rays, two out second inning, first pitch. Hung on and missed strike three. Floro comes in, strikes out Arozarena on three pitches. Dodgers get out of the best. So Blake ready to go lefty on lefty against Corey Seager. Here's a swing and a miss. Got him on a slow breaking ball. And Seager is out on strikes to start the fourth. Check yeah. swing and he went around. And a breaking ball that Danino smothers. And now gathers it in and throws the first. Take care of Turner. And that is strikeout number eight. So with two outs and the base is empty, here's Max Muncy. Muncy and Tapper back toward the mound his first time. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Blake Snell strikes out the side here on the fourth. And he continues to be outstanding. Right now it's a one nothing Rays lead and Blake getting ready to face the lower part of the order, the eight, nine, and one guys. And we'll see if he's going to give an opportunity to work through this inning or if they would bring Anderson in to face the right-headed hitting bats. we got to get there first. Here's one into center and the number nine man, Barnes, is aboard with one out in the sixth. Man, you talk about a short leash. 73 pitches, two hits, nine strikeouts. Snell can't believe it. A controversial decision, no doubt. Nick Anderson is coming on to face Betts. Hard hit and fair. Down the line. Hits the fence. Digging for third is Barnes. They will hold him there on a double by Betts. And the Dodgers are in business in a blink. So now the Dodgers have second and third. Here's Seager. Struck out twice by Snell. And this one gets by Zunino. Tie game. The Dodgers even the score at one pitch in the dirt. Kicks past Zanino. Betts goes to third. Lead run 90 feet away. And who else with the Dodgers one up than Corey Seager? Browns it to first and coming home. Betts beats the throw with a head first slide. And the Dodgers take a two to one lead. Pookie Betts, one of the best base runners in all of baseball, breaks immediately on contact and scores on Seager's fielder's choice. And now the Dodgers are nine outs from a world championship. The move has blown up. Only five pitches this inning so far for Urias and nine as he's picked up three outs and he's got two out, nobody on here in the eighth. Come on and miss strike three. Now the Dodgers are three outs away. Urias retires a side in order. Betts will be leading it off to be followed by Seager and Turner. Bochu to Betts, a hanger that's drilled to deep left center field and gone! Maybe the finishing touch. Dodgers lead 3-1, to one, inching closer to the World Series championship on a home run by Mookie Betts. Now the Dodgers are one out away. Call strike three! The Dodgers win! Finally, the wait is over. The Dodgers are the champions of 2020 in a year like no other where joy has been so hard to come by. Tonight, tears of joy. Let